Hello, my name is Rudy Warman. Uh, I'm part of Rudy Warman and the Heavy Weather Vegan Band down on the south east coast of England. And we're at the Vegan Festival today, Kent Vegan Festival. And uh, we're here because we're vegan and we love animals. We're passionate, passionate about animals and going vegan. Cruelty free lifestyle. Ah. The best thing about being vegan is that no animals get hurt. Or, you know, even if they do, it's a minimal amount. So it's all about reducing violence. You can never destroy violence because we live on a planet of violence where everything is, you know, being born and dying. So it's all about minimizing the violence. And when it takes a thousand gallons of water to get one gallon of milk, it doesn't make sense, especially when it's unhealthy milk that's full of, uh, you know, growth hormones and steroids and antibiotics. I think 90% of the America's antibiotics goes into cattle or animal agriculture, which is insane. So yeah, for the animals, I, you know, but also there's the health implications and the environmental impacts. So it's important. I think uh, people are just living as cruelty free. I, I believe in ahimsa, ahimsa, a h i m s a, ahimsa, which means just uh, non-violent. I have been vegan for about four years now. Vegetarian my whole life. Never eaten an animal. Never had any fish, meat. You know, no chicken. No happy meals, and it's all good, you know? So, it's easy, it's never been easier. Uh, my parents raised me vegetarian, along with my brothers and sisters. I think they turned vegetarian when they found out, I think they got into Hare Krishnas, and uh, you know, the Hare Krishnas believe in non-violence and ahimsa. Yeah, I like, I like yoga, I like fitness. I like crushing the te stereotype of a, you know, skinny vegan, even though I'm pretty skinny. I'm strong, you know. A lot of people just take steroids and want to get big and big and big instead of being functional. It's not about, unless that's, what you're, if that's what you're into, getting big and, you know, weights and all that, and it's cool. But I'm more into functional fitness. I want to be 90 years old and still be able to roly poly. Go vegan, go vegetarian, it's never been easier. Just try it a little bit at a time. If you realize you're going in the wrong direction along the motorway, you can't just slam on the brakes and turn around. You've got to slow down, change gears, indicate, look at the map, go around the roundabout, talk to people, you know, meet new people. It's an adventure, just go on an adventure. It's never been easier. People think it's a struggle, but really it's just an adventure that people aren't prepared to take. You know, and don't be willfully ignorant of suffering that's going on. If you wouldn't eat a puppy or a lamb, you would eat a lamb maybe. Don't know who I'm talking to here, but if you wouldn't eat a puppy or a kitten, why eat a lamb or a, a pig? You know, they're smart creatures. They're very full of compassion and love and empathy, and it's all about increasing that. You know, and we are what we eat, so why eat suffering? Especially if you can't even kill it yourself. If you are gonna eat meat, go and kill it yourself. Have some balls. You know, have some respect for the life that you're taking for the sake of your palate, because it's not necessary to eat. You know, I'm living proof. I've never eaten meat. Never eaten meat in my entire life, you know? So it's unnecessary. <laughs>